What's up, everybody? We are back here at Disney's Epcot, and today is the first day of Food and Wine Festival for 2023. So we're going to get in here. We're going to check out all the different booths for the food and wine. We're going to check out the merchandise, see what else we see. We're going to have a blast today. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, it's a little overcast, but it's actually a good thing because it's keeping the temps down. I'm going to try a few items today, too, so we have something to kind of review a little bit on food. Just me. Melissa's working, but we're going to have fun. Let's head on in for Food and Wine 2023 at Epcot. busy day here it's 50 minute wait it's a 50 minute wait for spaceship earth when was the last time you saw that wow really busy today holy cow so there's the uh popcorn bucket for the food and wine festival really cute it's like mickey's hand holding a picnic basket and you can get it and get it filled with popcorn or not so that's that's kind of neat all right so this is kind of big news they've repainted this area remember this area there used to be starbucks not only did they repaint it, but now they've also put down like, you know, switchback queue here. So they're going to be using this for something in the very near future, which uh, I'm excited to see. I can't wait to see what it's going to be. Let me know in the in the uh, comments if you know what it's going to be or what you think it might be. It's pretty cool. All right, so every time we're in Epcot, we got to stop in Germany and see the cuckoo clocks. Handmade. These things are phenomenal. Look how nice these are. We got one of these last year having it at the house. They're really awesome. The craftsmanship is incredible. I really like that one. That one that your dad has. Love the clocks. They're awesome. Okay, so these are at, the, at one of the festival marketplaces over in, uh, in America. Pavilion. These are really cute. Look at these. These are really cute. So soft. so fun look at the different ones they have oh my gosh these are amazing i love these there's a guacamole down there there's some whatever i don't know pumpkin down there strawberry shortcake down there these are really really neat do you got any more on this side oh take out these guys as well oh my gosh these are really 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 cute really really cute Oh, look at how cute they are. These are really, really amazing. Oh my gosh, I want to get Melissa one. So cute. So we're going to head inside and see what kind of food and wine festival merchandise they have. So here is a video montage with all the pricing and merchandise they have at Food and Wine. Enjoy.
kind of weird. Not a lot of activity back here right now in the uh, UK pavilion, which is kind of weird. They're doing a little bit of refurb over that way. But all this is still open. But there's not a lot of people back here right now because the normal entrance that you get in was shut off earlier, but it looks like it's open now. So I don't know. Huh, interesting. Not a lot of people back here, which I thought was kind of surprising. But earlier today, this whole area was shut off. You couldn't get back here. And uh, since then, they've moved it. So I don't know what's going on. Obviously, some kind of work's being done. So I gotta say, I really like being in World Showcase first thing in the morning, whether it's a festival day or not. But it's always so, I mean, look behind me. There's like nobody here. And it's really nice. I just wish the, the food booths would open a little bit sooner. Look, I get it. They wanna wait till 11 o'clock when it's more like lunchtime or, or late breakfast, and I get that. But I really enjoy the booths, and I wish they would open. Sam had made a good point. Samantha Lowe, who's with me right now. She has said maybe 10 o'clock. I think that's a good idea. I think it's not too early. It's not too late for us who get to here early. But either way, we're having a blast going around looking at all the booths. We're gonna get some food in a little bit. I'm gonna try probably at least two to three items today for you guys. So stay with us. So here's the Eat to the Beat concert series for July and August. Obviously there's more to come because there's gonna be September and October and into November. This festival goes on forever. But there's some real good ones in there. For King and Country will be here. Tiffany will be here. Ruben Studdard will be here. Joey Fatwin or Fatone. I was just say it. Philip Phillips. I uh, got some good ones coming. Really good ones in September. M80s, of course, will be here as, as always. So be sure to check this out because it's free with your admission. Doesn't cost anything extra for these concerts, guys. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, it does not cost anything extra. Awesome times. And uh, I'm going to just kind of show you guys all the different booths they have, the different kiosks for the uh, Food and Wine Festival, and the items that they have for those booths, and uh, just kind of show them to you. So roll the montage and the music. Enjoy. All right, guys, so we're here today. Our first stop, we're gonna try the fry basket, fry flight. They have the sea salt and malt vinegar fries. I'm reading it off the, the menu. Barbecue bacon fries with smoked aioli 
And finally, the sweet potato casserole fries with candied pecans, toasted marshmallow cream, and maple bourbon glaze. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how we do. Which one is this? Oh, this is the barbecue bacon. Okay, I'm sorry. So the first one we're gonna try is the barbecue bacon fries. Not bad. I haven't gotten any of the, whatever that is. Good. I actually really like them. That's really, really good. It's got some bacon on there as well. But yeah, these are good. I would get those again. I like them for sure. Um, all right, second one, we're gonna go with the sea salt and malt vinegar. Here we go. These are next. Sea salt, malt vinegar. Well, good, very good. I like that a lot. Um, the taste is definitely there. You can, you can taste the vinegar a little bit, the sea salt for sure. Um, there's more kick to the barbecue one than there is in this one. Um, but it's still very, very good. Good taste to it. Mm. Oh, there's the vinegar. Now it really yeah. hit with that one. Okay. That last bite it really gave me a big kick of the vinegar there. All right, last one. Sweet potato casserole fries. Now, I'm not a big sweet potato fan, but we're going to try it. Here we go. I can taste the pecan in there. It's definitely got the hint of the pecan. I'm here with Sam, by the way. Say hi. Yep, I can taste the pecan, which comes with it anyway. There they go. The candy is in there. It's really good. I really like all three of them. They're pretty awesome. Hey, look, there's Charlie. <laughs> okay, so I just got done the fry flight over at the fry basket. Uh, definite yes. I really enjoyed all three of them. The salt and vinegar one was good. The barbecue one was good. The candied sweet potato one was good. It was just a very unique flavor for a french fry. It wasn't that it was bad. I'll have to get it with Melissa's here because she's really good at explaining that stuff. But if I liked it, I know she's going to like it a lot. But one for one, I think we're off to a good start. All right, so the next booth I think we're going to try, we're going to do the Alps. I want to try one of the items at the Alps. I think that's going to be the next thing we try. I think we're going to do the um, the warm raclette with cheese. Well, the warm raclette Swiss cheese with ham, shaved ham. We're going to do that one. Potatoes, cornichons, whatever that is. I don't know. You know me with food. But I'm going to try it anyway for you guys. So we're going to try the first one at the top of the list. And hopefully it's good. We're at the Alps. We got the, the, uh, the uh, cooked or baked raclette cheese with the um, shaved ham. You get cheese on top, obviously. You get some bread. You get some um, potatoes in there. It looks really good. It smells pretty good. I can't wait to take a bite. We're going to take this bite here. It's going to be a big bite. It's going to be a little messy, but we're going to try it. Here we go. Really good. Two for two. The cheese is cooked really well. Great flavor to the cheese. Loving the ham. I'm a big ham fan anyway. Ham's great. I'm gonna try the bread. Mm, awesome. Two for two. This is really, really good. There's one you can get the, the baked regulator cheese without the ham or with the ham. So it's up to you. I got the one with the ham. I think it was $5.75. Well worth it. I think this is awesome. We are two for two, gang. Two for two. This is really, really good. Melissa's gonna love this when she tries it. Two for two. We're off to a really good start. All right, so third and final booth for today. Italy's got all new items. We're gonna go there, we're gonna try one of them. We're probably gonna do the focaccia bread that has the meatballs with it. Looks really good. A couple of people have already stopped by and said they thought it was great. So we're gonna give it our try. Third item today, focaccia bread at Italy because they have all new items. So I'm excited, hopefully it's good. All right, gang, so we are in Italy. We just got the focaccia bread comes along with meatballs and some cheese on it, ricotta cheese on it. I'm gonna try the meatball first, see how that goes. And then we'll kind of go from there. Mm, that's really good. Ricotta cheese on there is really good as well. I think it's ricotta cheese. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. 
but very tasty. Not a spice taste, just a good taste. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, the cheese is awesome. They do a really nice job. I'm gonna try the focaccia bread next. Uh, good start. Again, three for three so far. And meatball is really good. The cheese is amazing. And I'll let you know what the bread's like. I, I like focaccia bread. We usually get it at Via Napoli anyway. I'm sure it'll be no different, but I'm excited. Three for three. Okay, let's take a, bit, a bite of the focaccia bread. It's good. It's very good. It's good focaccia bread. What I'll say about it is this. It, it's a little soggy. So you can kind of tell it's been sitting in the sauce and the cheese for a little bit. But if you can get it really, really fresh. I mean, this is still really good. Don't get me wrong. I think that's the only... If I had to give it one knock, it's just that it might be a little soggy. As if it was like sitting in the... Um, in the sauce and the cheese for a little bit. But other than that, it's really, it's, it's excellent. I really enjoyed it. This is three for three. Uh, I'm enjoying the boots so far this year. It's been amazing. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I'm in the car and home because I forgot to do an outro at Disney and at Epcot. But our first day of Food and Wine Festival was in the books. We had a really good day. We got to see all the food booths that are out there. We got to see also all of the merchandise merchandise nothing really that i would say was off the charts oh my god i gotta have it but it was a lot of cute fun stuff for sure and um the food items that we got we got the fry basket we went over to italy and then we got the alps all three were excellent i really enjoyed them many more to come in the weeks days and weeks to come with melissa there i'm sure she's gonna like like a lot of them uh of course the eat to the beat concert series will be starting so we'll be back for a lot of the concert series um groups that'll be there it's going to be great. And uh, we had a good time today. It was a lot of fun. Got to see a character palooza as well, which is great. I don't get to see them too often. So Food and Wine Festival off and running. We'll have a lot more of it, I'm sure. Guys, thanks for joining me today. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye, gang.